Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the novelization in the form of a manga graphic novel of Isle of Dogs. And this was a gift from my friend Matt, who's been on my shows plenty of times. And I was very excited to check this out because I love Wes Anderson, I love this film, and I was wondering how it would be conveyed and how it is illustrated is some beautiful black and white illustrations that are very striking and stylized. There's definitely whole sections with very minimal like dialogue as a part of it and this is a really great visual representation of the story. Now in terms of the actual storytelling with the words and the plot points, they really take this story and truncate it. It's a very abridged version of the story. They cut out a lot of the action. Really anything that isn't direct perspective of the young boy at the front of the story. And it's very strange that it's like, takes so much out of the story and condense it in such a way where you kind of feel like it doesn't have as much of an impact. And... Especially, it feels very anticlimactic as it comes to an end because it kind of like set up like, look what we're going to do once the dogs get to like seeing the other dogs on this island. And it completely cuts out the whole entire climax of the film actually going back off of the Isle of Dogs. And it's very interesting in the way that this story is told. It does still have... A lot of the personality of some of the characters it really sidelines the other uh, dogs besides chief you'd still get a lot of chief in this story but since it's really only told from the perspective of our young pilot you really don't see a whole lot of interactions with other characters and I don't think it did the whole story as much justice as the film does but it's still a brief enjoyable and fun experience reading this and it's really awesome being able to see the wonderful illustrations that bring this story to life so in general i don't th i think you might be left wanting a little bit if you're a big fan of the film from like a narrative and story perspective and characters but from like a visual perspective it is a beautiful uh illustrated graphic novel and I still think it has enough in there to make it still enjoyable and have a fun time. And it's a breeze. Like, there's pretty minimal dialogue. And you go pretty quickly through the story. And by the end, it's just like, okay, this is a fun and enjoyable experience. And, you know, that's enough for me. So, I wouldn't say this is a great adaptation as a whole. But it's still a really enjoyable read and something really awesome to look at. Beautiful illustration. But those are my thoughts on Eye of Dogs. Let me know what you think and let's talk some books. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.